Just think, I'm part of the greatest show on YouTube for rainwater drainage. And I'm working with Apple Drains here this morning. And we're replacing a section of the sub drain here along the street. We're going to be going through uh, one driveway, cutting the concrete. Just kind of show you what we're doing. We've cut out the sod and now we're digging down to the level of the sub drain. Maybe we'll get a chance to interview with Apple Drains here shortly. So one of the reasons I'm here is for the great peanut okay. perforated pipe so. debate. Down here in Florida there's so much water underground that you've got to use peanut pipe. And check with Apple Drains, he's got to be the forefront person for that here in Florida. And there's just so much water. You can see we've moved this along pretty quickly. We're ready to install some peanut pipe right here uh, from you know this riser at least up here to the driveway. And from there we're going to cut the driveway and tie in at the far side. But that peanut pipe will absorb all this water that's been coming down this hill. The sub drain pipe we're replacing is just chock full of sand and collapsed under the driveway. So what is the big debate here? Well, fabric cloth is one, of, one big part of the debate and the peanuts are another. But fabric cloth down in Florida I think works great. The sand is around the fabric cloth and water can penetrate through sand uh, and then the cloth keeps you know the sand out of the pipe and water just filters through the peanuts. Now up north fabric around the pipe well I'm not so sure about that. Uh, you've got clay and the clay from what I've seen it gets stuck on the fabric and just clogs it up and nothing can get through there after a period of time. Gravel perforated up north is great. Fabric cloth, I, that's part of the debate up north. But this stuff down south here works great. Water can make it into the perforated pipe and take it on out to the street or to a storm drain, no problem. So my task here today is to go ahead and hook up all of this peanut pipe here at the sub drain and tie it in over here at this riser. The hard part is, is there's just so much water inside of the trench and sand will just collapse almost immediately once you start digging it out. So I'm going to start here at this end, be digging and installing at the same time and just kind of go a couple Ten feet at a time. Matt is cutting the driveway. Diamond blade, circular saw, gas powered. This is a three car driveway. So it's quite large and long. You can even go through diamond blades pretty quick. You can see he's keeping it wet with water. This helps control what would be a plume of concrete dust if you didn't put water down there. It also prolongs the life of your saw blade. And I've got this uh, peanut pipe installed, at least up to the driveway. And you have to cover it up right away when there's water in the trench like this, otherwise it will float up. If it was a dry trench, I could have shown you more. But it's the only way to keep it down in there. Once it's down in there and you got it covered, it's no problem. But it's definitely getting a lot of water. Catching it and moving it on down the line. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the water movement in there. The outlet going on down to a storm drain. I've got the sod back up on what I can do here today. Let's see if we can't uh, clean this mess up. But it's looking pretty good. I'll tell you what, this Florida heat is hot. 
drenched as usual, but just a lot more sunshine. So it's uh, you got to take a lot of breaks, even for the do-it-yourselfer. Take your time. You'll get it knocked out. We're taking care of the driveway here. And those are some pretty big blocks. Probably normal for them. I'd have to go about half size of that. But they're coming right out. They, they were able to cut all the way through the concrete. And uh, then they just use a pry bar. Get them into sections and it pulls right out. Here we're removing the excess soil to get it down to proper grade for installing gravel and concrete. We've been out here working all day and let me tell you it's a lot hotter down here in Florida than it is in Columbus, Ohio. I haven't gotten that interview yet with Chuck but I'm gonna get it. All right, next step is completed. We've put down a nice base of gravel in here before we mix our concrete, set it in there. Getting our forms in place. Chuck's been doing all the troweling here and we've been doing all the mixing. This is looking pretty good. Still haven't gotten that interview with Chuck yet, but I think I have an idea. I think we'll try playing some music over at his place here tomorrow. That way we can get into a deep discussion about French drains and yard drains. Be sure to click the link for an interview with Apple Drains as we discuss yard drains versus French drains.